Hey everybody, this is Groovy Squirrel. Here is Orava speaking, and along with Miss Lumi. Hello all. And today we are going to test a brand new game that just came out on the 27th of May, Force of Nature 2 Ghost Keeper. Force of Nature 2 Ghost Keeper is a sandbox adventure action RPG and there's some strategy and um, whatnot there's uh, quite a lot of elements uh, combined into one um, essentially you get you are some dude in your garage that just chase after a sound a weird sound and that happens to be a, a raccoon and all of a sudden you get teleported to some weird island where you have to accumulate resources and uh, craft with them in order to survive um, so as of right now uh, we uh, lumi and i have been testing it uh, together um yeah it's single player sadly um, there is, uh, so far is actually pretty good, or at least it's pretty creative in what you can do. Um, what do you think so far about the game? Well, what I usually want from survival games is that you can somehow custom your player. There is crafting, fights, night's loot, biomes to explore, talents to pick, and you can play with friends. This game almost has all from that list. Right now, we're at the exploring stage, so... We're looking around and see what all we can do and find in this game. Yeah. There's a lot to explore right now. Um, I haven't gotten done, done through much of the content yet. If I have to comment on the map, it's actually quite big. And there's... Uh, well, not exactly a lot to do in the map, but it's actually... Yeah, it's actually pretty big. There's uh, also a talent tree that has, um, well, they don't, re again, they don't revolutionize anything here, but... Yeah, I do like that you can pick your talents and skills to your liking. It's one of those things that I want to have in games usually. It does add some flavor in the game. There's quite a few things to craft and uh, to prepare. Uh, there's technologies I haven't uncovered yet. Uh, I actually started maybe an hour ago. The crafting system. It can be a bit confusing. Different items are done in different merc pens or spots, so you need to take your time to get used to it and also to find a way to do all. I know it is like this in most survival games, but it is just that when you have this new game, they have their own system. And you have to use time to learn it all. Yeah. There's uh, also the fact that a lot of the recipes takes a long time to make. So um, there's a lot of grinding involved and that may actually be a bit tedious depending on what kind of playstyle you're looking for. And if you are creating something, it's often done from several parts or ingredients. So you have to gather a lot of different ingredients and craft small parts to finally get that end result. So you might use a lot of time just to create something small you kind of wish to have fast. Yeah, that's the tedious part uh, I was mentioning earlier. Uh, essentially, you um, do have to do every bit of grinding yourself. Yeah, yeah, then again, that's how most of the survival games are. It's grinding, it's putting your time and effort to get things done. Otherwise, it wouldn't be survival, eh? But it's still fun. I mean, there's uh, that's the gimmick of the game. Now that we are talking about grinding and crafting, I can also see one another problem, and that's inventory. Yeah, I guess that's another negative point about the game. The inventory management is obnoxious, to say the least. Yeah, you really don't have that much space in it. You have one, two, three, four, five. You have 16 inventory of space, and you better always micromanage it because eventually you're gonna run out, and yeah, it's yeah, it's obnoxious. Oh, but items do stack though. Not sure how many you can have in a pile. Yeah, hopefully they stack, but uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, let me let me talk about the uh, space management because right now the issue is that you do not have much space on your inventory 
And you can only craft baskets, which contains five item total. Oh, and to answer your question from earlier, there's a maximum stack of 50. Oh, okay. But I guess it depends on what you have. So some items can be in a bigger stacks than others. Yeah, exactly. I guess that's uh, that depends on uh, what you have. So Also, combat definitely isn't the best. Yeah, I agree. Combat doesn't look that exciting. At least not at this level. But then again, it might get better later on. Like it consists of uh, right-clicking and... Uh, well, you do have some RPG stats, but it's there's no attack. There's no... It's simply, uh, yeah, let's see how well-equipped you are. And you... Do not get that much experience of uh, fighting beasts and enemies. I guess uh, maybe I'm not that far, so maybe that's why. So leveling your combat can be a little bit grind fest. Yeah, it takes it takes a lot of time to uh, get those experience. Even the boar, I think, gives one point. Yeah, kills doesn't take that long, but I guess experience-wise, it's not that much rewarding. Yeah, and even so, I don't get all the time those experience points. Another negative point, I must say, is the music. It's not exactly the best, but then again, I don't expect a masterpiece when it comes to indie gaming, but... Uh, Honestly, it doesn't really bother that much. Yeah, it is always nice to have good music, but this music, yeah, it will do. Not all even listen game music all the time, so that's fine. The gameplay is cool. That's what matters. The game probably would be an absolute buy if it was multiplayer. Like, not gonna lie, this would be a great if you had, the, if you could actually have friends assisting you in this. Yeah, exactly. That is something I kind of wish to have on survival games. To play with friends, either against or with them. It is always nice to share those jobs and build the base, fight against enemies, do that all together. But I definitely would recommend this game for someone that is looking uh, for uh, something uh, refreshing or a crafting game. Yeah, I agree. This game is pretty nice. If you like this kind of survival mixed RPG sandbox style games. Yeah. But that's all this time. I hope we were able to give you a little peek of this game. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe for more. We will see you on next one. Bye bye.